Xiaoling, go ahead. Hi, this is Xiaoning. First of all, thank you for your sharing. My question is, as a president or board member, what issues do you usually need to deal with or what decision you need to make? Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I like the way George has formulated it. Yes, uh, you know, we have uh, holy water in boardrooms and special coffee, people that are moving the, the big leaves and keeping us cool all the time and giving us foot massage. Obviously, that doesn't happen. Uh, maybe it happens in some boards. I don't really know. But uh, where I had the experience is, um, ideally, you know, you, you have certain distinctions in terms of what happens at certain levels in organizations. And imagine it like almost a house or like a, like a pyramid where at the top of the house, you have, um, you have architects that define the strategy and the direction and the reward systems and the targets for the company. And in the middle, you have all those that make it happen. Let's call it the middle management who, who get this stuff translated into day by day action. And then at the very bottom, you have the doors at, at whatever level, because they are given certain processes, tasks, or certain activities on a day in day out basis. That's in most simple terms how a corporate structure looks like. So I think at, at board level or at the top leadership team level, uh, sometimes it's easy to get pulled into executional issues um, because somebody comes up with a story, say something to somebody, it eventually ends up on your desk or somebody tells you during a break. That's not the job of a board member. Uh, you know, you, you have to set the, 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 the direction of the entire business, you have, you have to make sure there is a strategy and an operating model for it. And there are the mechanisms in place in which people can perform at their best. They are rewarded in line with their performance and work is flowing through the structure. Uh, that's at very basic level, the, the, the role at the, at the top of the house. Um, but I have seen opposite examples. I have seen shareholders of the business, even this is in public companies, coming into board meetings and asking you, hey, where did you buy this pencil from? Because I know a shop where they sell these are really good on promotional prices. Jeez, what do I care about the pencil price at board level? You know what, there are people do doing that job. Maybe they, do, they don't do it right, but that's a different question. But Everybody has their roles. And at, at board level, that's really the architectural role uh, in terms of the strategic guidance of the company and pro giving the resources uh, to, 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 to deliver the expected business results, uh, you know, resource allocation, resource prioritization, strategy, the culture of the business, because that is set from the top of the house. It's not bottom up, it comes top down. Uh, those are the, the type of things that, that board members need to worry about in their, in their roles and not get sidetracked by, by executional discussions about the Pantone colors of certain advertising materials or how the pencil look like uh, and, and things like that. Does that make sense? <laughs>